Hey guys, it's Hairstyles Tether, and so today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute lip balms with your essential oils and some other ingredients. So I'm going to tell you all like what you need and how to make these. They're really super easy and simple and they smell so good and they work great for your lips for a great lip balm. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is my setup here. This is everything you need. So first off, get your essential oil situated, which ones you would like to use here. Then get your coconut oil, shea butter, and beeswax. We're going to mix these in first, and then you add your essential oils in your double boiler like this. And so that's heating up now. And then get your kit. So get just these tubes kits. Okay guys, so I hope you can see me okay. I'm going to try to show you guys how this works. Also grabbed my vanilla flavor here in case you want to put a tiny bit of that in and you'll also need a one tablespoon to measure it out okay guys so we've got it boiling up here we're gonna get our beeswax we're gonna get two tablespoons so one and two put that down and then we're gonna get one tablespoon of shea butter here and this is the best shea butter. I did a review on it if you want to check it out. Tiny bit more. Like that. I'd rather do a little bit more than not enough. So, yep. Yeah, there's that. And then this is my big thing from Costco coconut oil because I use it all the time. But we're going to get one tablespoon of coconut oil also. That. And I'm just going to take my spoon to kind of mix it up a little bit. Show you guys what it's looking like. So that's what it looks like when you first put it all together. So mixing it all up here. Okay, so now it is all mixed up. That's what it looks like. It took about maybe three to four minutes just to let it all melt really good there. Okay, so now I'm going to do just a tad bit of my vanilla here. Just a very, just a tad bit like that. And then, so mix that in. Now I decided to do, I'm going to do seven drops of each. I've got three different ones. Here's the peppermint. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to do seven of citrus fresh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also, frankincense is great for your skin, so I like to put seven of it also. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, and then mix that in for just a few minutes. Now we're going to start the pouring. So let's see here. I got my towel here to get it out with. I'm going to push this to the side. Well, here's the balancing act that we try to do. So we're going to try to get, um, I just pour it in here like this. And you want to try to get it to the very top where there's like a little bubble there because it'll sink in just a little bit. Wow, so close. Ah. Whoa, about to that one over. Um, if you don't get it to the very tippy top, then, you know, no worries. And this will dry quickly. That one's spilled over just a little bit. Barely making it to the tippy top of that one. I had 11 bottles here. Okay, so you can see they're already starting to dry. They dry very quickly. So, and you can see how they're kind of sinking in a little bit. Um, so if you can and you want to make them perfect, you can try to bubble them over. But that's kind of hard to do. You can get those little squeezy things if you want to and makes it a little bit easier. But I just like to do quickly like this. And I'll just kind of go around the edges and clean it up before I put the top on. So that amount made 10. I get out 11 because I usually have just a tiny bit extra. So I'll make like a little half one, but normally that 
mixture will make about 10 bottles. If you want to make more, just double it and make 20 bottles or half it and make five bottles, you know. And the kit also comes with these cute little stickers that you can put on. And these I write on, I'll say like lip balm or citrus. So if I do like lemon or peppermint or, I usually like do a mixture, the citrus fresh and peppermint. And I always add frankincense. Sometimes I'll just do like lemon or orange or something like that. But, or I'll just do say lip balm if I do a mixture and they have these really cute ones that have like flowers on them and stuff. And like this one has a little butterfly, so cute. And then like this one I put citrus, so yeah. And you can, like this one I did purple and blue or you can match them like blues and the purples like you're supposed to, I guess, but I just kind of mix it up sometimes. And the girls love these. So I made a ton, like I made a batch already and then I'm making that batch. And this makes so much in and I just love it. They smell so good and they're so good for your lips, especially frankincense in there because it's really good for your skin. And yeah, so I can't wait to see. Comment below if you tried this out and did some lip balms. I'd love to see them. And um, Or if you have any other tips or anything like that, let us know. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll check us out for some more videos. I'm going to do some more essential videos. You can go see my essential old uses and like why I love them and what I use them for if you want to. If you would like to get into making essentials, we can make all these lip balms and you can make so much stuff. I'm going to do some more videos on the lash boost that I make to that I use with them and bug spray. It's getting summertime so check out so much guys for watching and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye!